Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're sharing a scene of a monkey that has been converted to a flower shop. So you probably don't know about this or probably you might have seen this. But this amazing artist known as Erin Doe, we've talked about him on the channel before. He has actually done some very crazy geometry stuff before, you know, wild things. And today we are looking at his monkey scene that he converted into a flower shop. So you know how we need simple geometry on the viewport and we can use the geometry node modifier on that geometry to create more and more geometries within the geometry node. Mm -hmm. That is exactly what he has done. And uh, if you take a look right here, you would notice that we have something called flower shop, but then you don't see anything. But if we scroll all the way out, you start seeing all the craziness that comes with it. This is the entire node that makes up that beautiful flower shop. You probably would not see this in action until I tell you how. Now, it is quite interesting to see that all the things are available and of course you can grab it for free. I'm going to talk about that. But then there's a couple of things to note before you get this Blender file and cook your computer to porridge, okay? So what you need to know is first off, you would need Blender 3.0, the most recent version. I would suggest that you get that and then you might need a good graphic card. I would definitely recommend that anytime, any day. You need a good graphic card to actually run this. So how this works is this simple. You need to have this object selected. You need to also make sure that you have your renderer set to cycles, and then you can now simply switch over to your viewport rendering. And right now you don't see anything. The minute we turn this on, you would start seeing some very crazy and interesting things. Just to show you how much toll this is taking on the PC, I would go ahead and bring up the task manager so you guys can see that. And you can see, so it's eating this bad boy up. And of course, you know, it's also taking a huge toll on the memory as well. So you can see that there, nice stuff. And if we take a look at this, you can now start seeing all the magical things that he has created. So you can simply imagine how much stuff has been made out of this. You know, by just simply looking at this right now, you can see that we have all of this. These things were made directly with the geometry node. And it's quite crazy, you know? We have an entire flower scene or flower shop scene. And you can see all of them. Let's go through, zoom right in. And you can see, this is wild. You know, to think about these things made all in the geometry nodes, all of these things and the flowers themselves. And, you know, we just have but the stairs crazy. So there's a whole lot of things to unpack for this. And especially for those that have been thinking about getting into geometry nodes, I think this might be a very good place to start. So if you would like to get this file and you like to play with it and test it and see what and what you can get out of it, you might need to go over to Erindel's page. I'm just going to go ahead and put link to his Patreon where you can check it out and you can download this for free. So if you like to support him, you can also go ahead and support him and you can see that he actually mentioned that 4,127 nodes makes up this entire thing. And for sure, you can learn how this spiral stair was made and of course, if you like to learn how this is made as well, you can play with the nodes directly there. If you like to see how this is made, the cactus, you can also play with that. And for sure, you can also understudy these nodes and see what makes them tick. And for those that are thinking about working with more nodes, you know, you like nodes that can help you fine tune and tweak certain things to get the best results. Then you might also want to take a look at Erindel's page as he also has the Erindel toolkit, which is more of an advanced geometry node group that he has made and he keeps updating this every single time. And I guess the most recent update was when, yeah, on the 1st of November, 2021. So you can see a long list of things that you might want to play with. So all of these things have been created and they are right there for you. So you can simply go ahead and pick it up and start working with it. And for sure, if you would like to get these free ones, you can also take a look at the free ones. So he has a couple of free things going on here that you can download. And you know, something like this is very procedural. So you can pick it up, work with it, see what you can get out of it. This is also uh, very procedural as well. And you can take a look at some of the things that he has made and start playing with them. And for sure, if you like to also get the Erindel toolkit, or maybe you would like to play with the things that he has just made, then you can actually go ahead and check it out. So Blender 3.0 has come a long way just to think about the idea that you can now use a simple geometry within your viewport to create this fantastic looking scene. It's just mind blowing. The entire thing here is just geometry node based and it begins to create this idea that there is some sort of endless possibilities that the geometry node might be bringing to the table very, very soon. So for those who like to explore this, maybe you want to grab it, you want to play with it, you want to see what makes it tick. 
Link to this is going to be in the description. And of course, a huge shout out to Arendelle for making these things possible and also for creating these and keeping it for free for every other person to pick up and learn from. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.